Hey guys, this is uh, Donexus, and I'm here to explore the concept um, regarding evolution and creationism, and the idea of why not teach both and let the kids decide. That is an absolutely idiotic idea that's morally, theologically, and scientifically bankrupt for many reasons. Um, let's just look at this. The, first of all, let me just start by denouncing a couple common myths about evolution. For example, evolution and God are not mutually exclusive. What is mutually exclusive with evolution, however, is a literal interpretation of the Bible, which, I mean, most people who have ever read it already know that you cannot de de interpret every single word of it literally. Um, also, the scientific theory aspect of it, evolution is only a theory. Evolution is at the same level of proof as cells, atoms, and quite frankly, theories are greater than facts. Theories unite and explain many facts, so theories are kind of like a unifying thing, especially a scientific theory. Do not confuse um, a scientific theory with a theory that we use in everyday speech. Now, that being said, 99.98% of scientists accept evolution, which is more than four times the amount of historians um, which are saying that the Holocaust never happened. So, it happens. In my professional career, I've never met a single person who does not believe evolution, and that's influenced by the statistics. Now, that being said, how does that relate to let's teach both and let the kids decide? Well, when do we ever do this? I mean, do, do we teach the, the, the theory of um, a atoms to kids and then have to teach them the alternate theory of Jesutrons, which are supported by absolutely nothing, contradicted by everything, and let them decide what they want to believe? No, we, we simply don't do that. Do we let children decide um, what we're made of, what kind of cells do what? Do we, do we let them decide who won the Civil War? No, we don't do that. We have the facts. We know what happens. There's more than enough um, evidence to support a reasonable burden of proof, which evolution has met, so why would we let the kids who are uneducated about something decide anyways? I mean, when if we wanted to teach them that the Earth was flat... Could we do that also, and let the kids decide what they want to choose? Or is that basically borderline criminal? I mean, why would you teach your children that? Why would you teach your children something that is contradicted by every shred of empirical evidence around you? It makes absolutely no sense, and it's not for the good of the children. Furthermore, I mean, what does that teach our kids? You're just showing them that they don't have to listen to facts. So they can close their eyes and la-da-da, -da, ignore absolutely everything around them. And that's not good for society, and it's not good for them personally. What kind of adults are they going to be if they don't have any sense of reason, intellect, or accountability? It makes absolutely no sense to me. Um, and something else that I found very interesting is a quote by um, Galileo, and I think heavily pertains to this, and that's, I did not believe that the same God who endowed me with reason, sense, and intellect allowed me to forgo their use, which is exactly what we're doing. There's absolutely no reason to teach the kids this. It's absurd. When do you ever let children decide what's best for them? I mean, it, if your child wants to, to have a beer and he's six years old, do you, do you give him a beer and give him a glass of water and let him decide what he wants to do? No, you don't do it. So, in summation, these are all a bunch of reasons that I feel are more than worthwhile as to why um, you shouldn't teach both to the kids and let them decide. Because we're adults. It's irresponsible to do that. We are supposed to know better. We're supposed to be mature. We're supposed to be wise, and we owe it to them to be wise and to use our heads, God-given intellect and maturity, to decide what is the right thing to do. What are the facts? What are the reasons? What's the reality of the situation? It's a simple ability to tell fact from fiction that these adults are lacking, and their decisions are going to have serious consequences and implications for our kids.